welcome back to the employee management uh, system series using Maranstack. in the previous video in the fifth video we completed employee management okay we have added the employee we have edited the employee we displayed the details of an employee and also filter pagination and so sorting all functionality has been uh, completed in the previous video in this video the sixth video we will just manage the salaries okay as in admin so we are logged in as admin so the admin can add salary to the employees so whenever we press this salary so we will move to the salary page and there we will be able to add a salary for an employee for example we want to add salary for these employees so through this uh, link we will manage that so let's move okay to um, complete this tag to add the salary then after adding the salary we will come here uh, to the employee tab back and here we will view the salary for every employee but whenever we logged in as a, a employee so employee can see his salary history also so let's start come here to the vs code editor so let's come here to the project and we will do something like this okay we will add a salary first of all we will pitch the departments then we will pitch the employees in that department so after that we will add the basic salary allowances it means that the like the over uh, over time uh, money okay uh, and deduction like taxes and the pay date so then we will add that so let's do it first of all we will create this design this forum uh, let's create the forum so let's create a folder inside components and we will name it salary inside this salary let's uh, create a file add that means to add a salary in this add.jsx we as we add it let's come here um, look at the forum we have six fields department employee and this so come here to the employees as yesterday we did when we were editing the employee for example edit this so here also we have the uh, departments like here the departments and the employees in other fields so i will copy this code because the design is same okay the design is same so we don't need to write it again and again because that is just a same html code and telvin css classes so let's do it okay so we will just move to the employee and come here to the edit control a control c copy all code and paste that here just change the name to add and what else we need to change change this name also to add and come here down instead of displaying edit employee we will display here add salary So first of all we will display the department name so let's copy this department okay in the previous uh, editing employee we just fetch the departments like this okay let's cut this area and we will paste it at the top of our forum down from our forum so here i will paste that So upper di displaying the uh, department so here we pitch the departments let's let's check it the departments also i will just close this handle submit function yeah here we fix the department so the department function is inside employee helper inside employee helper so we explain this function uh, whenever we were impl implementing the employee management then we will store these um, departments inside this department state variable so what else change we need to come here first of all we display the um, department then we will display the uh, employee details okay the employees inside that department for example we selected we selected here the it so here we will display the it uh, employees so for that employees we will create a drop down as we created for the departments let's duplicate this code okay we need the same thing as we did here for the departments shift alt down arrow key to duplicate this so after duplicating that uh, let's write here employee so in the employee let's write here employee and here handle change employee that department we don't need right now this and here select uh, employee instead of this i will add uh, an employee state variable so as we have a state variable per department so i will add one for employees
so after that let's move back to the code yeah employees employee dot id emp dot uh, employee id I will display the employee ID here in the option. So whenever we select department, so by selecting this department, we will fetch the employee data. Okay, so whenever we select and uh, just come here, whenever we select a department, so then we will fetch the data of employee. So let's do it. Call here on change in department. Uh, so here uh, on, on change, I will call handle department. handle department so let's create this handle uh, department function just come here and would like to just create that So now I will create a, a function. In that function, I will fetch the uh, employee's data. So I will create that function separately in employee um, uh, helpers component. So let's move to us. Here we call the fetch departments. So I will move to this employee helper component. Here we fetch the department. So here I will fetch the employees also. So let's write here employees for salary for I meant this and now let's copy this department code as we fetch departments here now we will fetch the employees I will just change the names which employees are we can name it get employees get employees this is employees and response so here we will move to API slash employee slash salary slash id we will pass the id of employee okay to which employee we would like to, we will pass sorry the input the id of department so here we will get the id we will pass that id from this add component so here whenever we get the id so we here we i will call uh, api employee and salary it means this is per salary or we can name it uh, a department uh, employee uh, employee department it means based on a department so here i will pass the id of department so that's it so after calling this api we will get the employees so if that was success so the employees is equal to response to data dot employees i will return uh, employees finally return employees so let's call now this get employees in this component in this handle department function const amps is equal to await get employees so let's import this one yeah from employee helper so after importing that let's pass e dot target dot value this e dot target dot value is the id of a department now here i will call set employees look at that we has created right now set employees this one and i will pass emps to that so that's it okay we have uh, implemented and completed it now let's create the api this api okay employee department and uh, id so let's come here to the server side first of all let's check the index in the index that is employee okay come here to the employee route and here i will just write uh, this is employee slash department slash id 
path middleware and then we will call a function from controller that function would be like uh, h uh, employees by dip id like this would be the function name let's export it from the employee controller now let's create it inside the employee controller let's create that function and also export that function So the logic is the same as we pitched employee based on id so let's find that this is update employee this is get employee so the logic is same let's copy this code and paste it okay first of all we will get id from url which is requested for arms after getting id now what this is the department id okay so based on department id i will um, pitch the um, employees so employee dot find not find by id dot find here i will specify department and here i will specify id okay based on department id and let's remove all these things employee then return employees so that is okay get employees by dip id that is okay so now let's try it and we have completed that this step so now let's create other forums also so we have completed the department the employees what else we need to display the basic salary allowances let's come here this is basic salary let's change this to and i'll change name basic salary and employee let's remove this mm. this is number uh, uh, sorry i should remove this merit status instead of this i will use this okay for basic salary type number basic salary so down from basic salary allowances okay so this is salary i will just change this to this number So let's duplicate this one. Shift all down arrow key for uh, deductions. And so what else we need? So these two has been done basic salary allowances deductions and pay date So that's it that's it just come here to the departments save that and unchange handle department that is okay unchange i will call uh, so here the department it means the department id i would like to store so whenever i change the employee uh, i should pass the value is employee id value emp dot id so the name should be also employee id 
so this is employee id and here a basic salary that is okay allowances deductions and paid it okay the names are okay so now let's create this object instead of name first of all employee id so and now then um, basic salary after that uh, allowances deductions and finally the date so by calling this handle change function so we will just store just come here to the handle change so we will store values inside the previous data the previous yeah that is okay set employee set employee and employee and this is employees so we have handled that but whenever we click this button just come here to the employee button i will change first of all till that is okay so whenever i click that button so i will call handle submit function come here to the handle submit function and in the handle sub submit function i will pass data to the uh, salary uh, component it means api slash salary and i will pass the uh, this is post not put post the data to the api slash salary slash add remove the id slash add and here i will pass employee okay the employee data this employee data and response to data was success more to employees that is okay yes everything is okay we don't have departments and employee yeah let's first of all check the front end our front end come here to the salary so in the salary let's move to the sidebar sidebar and in the sidebar come here to the salary yeah salary and here in the salary whenever we click this so we will move admin dashboard slash uh, salary and also we will add is active property Yes, yeah, salary slash add uh, salary slash add and here to the app.jsx there we will add that and let's add that employee admin dashboard and here salary then add remove this and here the element is add art we will import art from uh, admin sidebar from let's just import add salary add salary from salary okay import add salary from component slash salary slash add let's now press the salary so we directly move git employee server error so we faced with an error let's refresh it once again git employees server error so there is an error the server side whenever we are fetching the data from uh, come here to the employee error the error is here okay employee department slash we have passed the id 
employee department let's compare to the employee department yes id yeah the error is not here but error is here git employee Yeah, in this ad yeah we don't have the id so where i use the id yeah so we should not fetch employee let's remove this use effect and also this id let's save it now refresh it now F12 come here to the console and also let's check the crash is it crashed or not that is running okay but the problem is just in loading okay just in loading uh employee employee set employee departments and uh, employees yeah this is employee not employees that is okay let's save it and now we faced with an error cannot read properties of null yeah we are facing with the errors okay whenever you are just developing a website so of course in programming coding you will face a lot of errors so map it means that at the jsx 98 so the error is here okay employees is null employees is null So in the salary, I will just change this to salary and this one to sit salary. This has just made confusion. Sit salary and sit salary and sit departments, that is okay. And the department sit employees, that is also okay. And, and here I will call sit salary. That's it. And we will just pass this salary whenever we press the handle submit function yeah now here i will just solve the error app departments and also inside this employees i will assign in RA to this okay not null yeah again the employee is not defined so where is employee I will just check employee where is employee yeah, that is employees so That is okay so we have this right now so let's just change the user interface the user interface for employee let's remove this call span too that's it okay so we have the departments four departments it database mail and logistic and we don't have any employee so whenever we change this for example database so for the database undefined it means we didn't whenever we change the database 
okay come here to the department and on change handle department uh, handle department let's move to the handle department function in handle department here i will just now check uh, await get employees dot e dot target dot value and set employees the function name is get employees this is get employees function and here we will just employees const response await access start get mm, employee department based on id Uh, 404 not found it means employee department not found the problem let's go to the server side and to the department to the employee department slash id and i will just drop the uh, what was the problem just check it handle department and employee.find yeah the problem is this is not delete method this is git okay i'm really sorry so just come here now we will try that let's refresh it now let's select the it department so look at we have for it we have just one employee let's select for example database for database we don't have any employee let's select mail per mail we have one employee and for logistic for logistic we have one employee so these are the employees um so let's check the employees also so we have three employees for it logistic and mail so let's select the uh, database it for it i select amp 112 this employee so after that i will add the salary so the salary is for example 500 and 40 and 30 and the pay date like this is the pay date uh, edit employee let's change this to uh art salary yeah whenever we press the um, submit function so we will move to this route salary add so let's create that let's create a new route for salary right click new file salary dot js and let's copy the code of this control a control c to the salary paste that and yeah the middleware is okay let's remove all these things and instead of this also let's remove these things let's remove this one in salary we have just post art and at middleware and here we will just import a controller from um, salary controller so let's create salary controller i think we don't have the model also so we will create the model also okay so let's right click new file salary controller touch is const at salary let's export it let's import it now inside this okay add salary so after importing that we will use that here so that's it now let's import this router inside uh, index.js
solari.js now let's use it set slash api slash salary comma salary router that's it so now let's create the model for our um, salary so just come here to the models and right click new file so we will just assign name salary that is inside the salary i will just create the schema for our model so this is the schema for um, the salary uh, model so we have employee id so okay the salary has connection with the employee to which employee this salary has been applied issued and then basic salary allowances deductions net salary it means the total of salary like the basic salary plus allowances minus deductions and paid it created it and updated it so now let's use it and to um, just the create and add a salary so come here to the uh, salary controller and in the salary controller i will add a salary so we have passed the data just come here let's close it close it also so we have passed the data okay we have passed the data now let's first of all distract the data here so uh, let's as we did here uh, whenever we were adding like department so yeah let's do it manually const uh, first of all employee id basic salary and um, allowances deductions and after that what else we need paid it is equal to request start request start body so first of all we will just find the net salary okay we have these fields employee id basic allowance deductions and paid it now let's find the net salary total of salary const salary is equal to with the uh, int parse sorry parse int uh, basic salary plus parse int uh, allowances minus parse int i will just parse them to integer and deductions so that's it we have found the net total salary now let's add the record so const uh, salary is equal to await salary model so let's import salary model that is salary dot um or we can just simply write new salary is equal to new salary here i will pass first of all employee id then the basic salary allowances uh, deductions uh, net salary finally net salary is equal to with total salary edit so that's it we have these fields inside our salary model so let's check our salary model employee id basic salary allowances deductions okay employee salary employee id basic allowances deductions and net salary and pay date so after creating it now let's save it and finally let's return a response status 200 json that is true but if there was an error so return an error
uh, and it's so that is okay let's try it now okay to add salary let's press the add salary to add salary to amp 112 so look at amp 112 so th that id number we have added a salary let's check that in mongodb compass EMS, come here to the salaries, look at the salaries collection and here we have the salary. The total is 5 and 10 and we have to the EMP ID 1, it means to this ID 1, to the ID 06, come here. EMP, EMP 112, to this one, okay, we have added the salary to this one. Now let's switch the salary history for that employee, okay, if the salary was existed, let's come here like here for example um come here to the employees i check on the salary so i will check the detail of that employee that employee has received uh, uh, salary on this date so we will display this information for every user for every employee so let's do it now so let's move back to the employee table Come here to the employee helper component. In the employee helper component, we had the buttons. Look at, we have the salary button and leave button. Come here to the salary button. So whenever we click on this salary button, so we should move and uh, pitch the records of that uh, employee, the salary record. So on click. Navigate. Uh, admin dashboard slash employee slash salary slash I will pass the ID. So this is the ID of employee. Okay, that I have passed. This is the employee ID. So let's change this to employees and now I will create this route. So let's move to app.jsx and create that route and let's create that for employee shift alt down arrow key to duplicate this admin dashboard employees this is salary and here we will pass the id and here we will move to view salary let's move and create that component come here to the the employee to the salary in salary i will create a component i will name it view or display view.jsx and here let's import that uh, we should import that from we have view also here so i will just change that name to view salary let's import that now duplicate this and this is view salary view salary component salary and view that's it so just come here whenever we press this salary so we should move directly to the view okay salary view now let's display here the data of uh, it means the table up a salary like here we can see the data uh, history the history salary history for user so for that this is a simple table that we can create okay we have created many times like this table and here we have created the table so we don't need to again explain it so i will create the table then i will pitch data I create a table like this. It will contain these header. So this is the view. Okay, salary view uh, component code. So let's go through this. First of all, we have two state variables, salaries and filter salaries. So this is for salaries and filter salaries is that whenever we filter our data, like for this one. So as we discussed the uh, filter uh, in the employee and department uh, sections, uh, videos also. 
so back from that this is id that this is the employee id that we will get from url okay so whenever we click on the id so we passed in id so we will get that here then in the pitch salaries in the use effect we will call this function in this function we will uh, fetch the salaries based on that employee id okay so we will move to salary and we will pass the employee id then we will return the salaries so we will store that salary inside the these salaries and filter salaries and this is the filter function okay we will filter the data and here if the filter uh, salaries was null so it means that is still in loading so we will display loading else if that was not null so then we will display the salary history and also the filter uh, uh, input fields and then down from that we will check if the filter salaries that length was greater than zero it means that if there was data for this employee so if there was a salary history for this employee so then display the data so i used just the table i didn't use data table component in this way um, in this salary so i just created a table in the table we have these header serial number employee id salary allowance deduction total and pay date and after that in the filters then i will filter the data and i will display that like this okay table row table data serial number plus plus employee salary dot employee id dot employee id then basic salary allowance deduction net salary and then the uh, uh pay date so down from that if the filter the records was not uh, greater than zero it means that there was zero record so then we will display no record so this is the front end code okay look at all the codes it's just uh, xml code so we have this now we, let's move to create this api okay so let's move to the salary and here i will add just we will get based on id so i will just pass here id then here i will create get salary this function so let's create this function let's create that inside the salary uh, controller So let's now get the data. Okay, so first of all, we will get you ID from URL. So const So after getting that now, let's return. Okay, fetch the salaries from uh, database. So we will just write const salary is equal to with the uh, update keyword. First of all, salary dot find based on employee id the id is equal to with id that populate we will like to return the uh, employee id also from employee table from employee collection so here i will specify employee id comma i would like to just return the employee id just employee id from employee table after that return the response like this okay let's export it save that let's try it now just come here to ams and we paste with an error come here to the uh, employees come here to press the salary so we faced with failed with status code 404 so let's check where is the error um the error was that git salary I think that was the git salary issue which has been solved and nothing else salary that find request failed with status code 404 so maybe the error somewhere else just come here to the view which salary should be local half of the slash salary slash api slash salary okay api slash salary 
that is okay so look at the salary history for this employee we have this but if we move to other like for this one we don't have any salary uh, history like no records and also for the last one no records okay so it was the salary management that we uh, implemented just for the admin 